All right, cool. So the finger groove grip on the guillotine, this is very similar to pretty much what everyone teaches. So this is almost the standard. Where my arm comes across, my first finger fits, or my index finger, goes right in the groove between my wrist and my hand. So it kind of rests right there. It gives me a natural spot to dig in. And then I can still either lift or crunch, depending on what style of guillotine you're doing. But this is pretty much the standard guillotine that's taught. So if I've got my opponent, I shoot across the neck, arm in or arm out. Either way, I'm putting that first finger on the fist, and now I can drop, connect, and get the tap. So if we're doing it arm in, I can reach and grab the same way, fingers finding the groove, locking into the neck, getting the tap. What I find on this one is unless the person has a really wide neck or you have really tiny arms, a lot of times you have to get that little bit of bicep curl at the end. So it's not right or wrong, very standard in most curriculums as far as how to approach the guillotine, but I think there are some other options.